We can't believe the day is finally here. We're going on the Disney Wish. So we're doing something extra cool. We're doing concierge. So they gave us this little sticker and they're taking us to the concierge lounge in the terminal here. It's very cool, very exclusive. So not only are we super excited to go on to the Wish for the first time, we're also super excited to do concierge, which like, we've never done that before. Um, I don't know if we'll ever I, do it again, it's so cool. I don't know how we could go back to not doing it yeah. after this, I don't know. <laughs> Cruising won't be the same anymore. Oh, this is the area they're bringing us to. It's to the right of the ears. Wow, so this is the concierge lounge. This is very cool. And there's the ship right there. So what's cool about concierge is you don't have a port arrival time. You can show up whenever you want from 11 to 3.45, I guess. Even though it's 10.30 right now, so I guess you could show up at 10.30. Yeah, but we have to sit here and wait until they come and get us yeah. and go on. But we'll be the first on, which is really cool. Very cool. Okay, and like 30 seconds later, <laughs> we're going in here. I'm not sure if we're getting on the ship or what. Oh, so this is a different concierge lounge. So that, what we were in wasn't it? I don't know. So this is the real concierge lounge. <laughs> oh my God, there's sodas and Red Bulls. Oh wait, no, that's water. Oh, let's go get some soda. Oh, look at that. Whoa, this is cool in here. <laughs> Here's a blueprint of the ship. I like that it says like view, starboard. That's cool. And our room is right here. Yeah. Let's go get that soda. Let's go get that dino. So here's the free soda that we got. It's about free. as ritzy as it gets. Why? Free soda? You crazy? <laughs> this is a class. I'm gonna just crack open a cold one here. So um, I really need to get used to saying the word concierge. Yeah, you're not very good at it. <laughs> because I feel like we're gonna be saying it a lot. It's a stupid word. Why is it so hard to pronounce? I don't know. Or am I just stupid? I don't know. It's hard to say. You say it. Concierge. I feel the like there's another way of sense. saying it, like concierge. What is it? Like French or something? There's no way of knowing. But yeah, like when we like gave them this um, our port arrival form, we had this little icon here. Oh, is that what it was? Because the guy was like, "Ooh, concierge," yeah. and I was like, "How did you know? I couldn't so even find it on sticker. here." And I was like, "Ooh, fancy." I feel so fancy. We are fancy. We're probably never going to be doing this again, so... We have to really live it up and enjoy. Yeah. Here we go. It's about 11.30, if anyone's wondering. And we're in the first group to board. So exciting. Oh, we have to say our name. I'm going to name Carrie again. The Carrie party. Yeah. Which is my last name and Carrie's first name, so that works. It looks so fancy in here. I love the coloring, my god. Wow. Cinderella's here. Wow, they gave you a wand. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that they were up there. This is crazy. I gave one Cinderella's here. Hi. Wow. Do you think it would fit me? Disney Wish, please welcome aboard the Sky family. Yeah. So I think so too. Yeah, break open the glass. And Maybe there's a slide. Oh, yeah. The, that's the slide to the kids' club. That's cool. Oh, and there's Cinderella in her true form. Oh. The form she should be in. And her cat. Yeah, Cheshire. Oh, Whoops. I'm kidding. This is exciting. I just feel, oh my God, this is Whoa. so cool. This is the bayou. This is the bayou, what? This is the coolest thing ever. Look at the ceiling. <laughs> That's so cool. There's fancy sodas here for the zero proof cocktails. Cool. Oh look, and there's a frog right here. Yeah. I think he's on the other side too. Or is that, that's the Tiana frog and that's the Prince Navin. Here are some of the stores here. Wow. Wow. Look how fancy. Look at this. Oh, that is cool. Wow. Wow, look at this art of the inside of the ship. I actually have already seen this before. Okay. We've been so excited for this ship. We haven't looked at any photos or videos of anything of the ship because we wanted to keep it a surprise. All I've seen is renderings and the model at Hollywood Studios. That's all I've seen. I think Grayson, your nephew, would love this. I think so. My nephew loves um, Toy Story, so. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, that's cool. That is cool. I kind of wish that was for grown-ups. Where are we? Hey, we're lost. How do we, how do we, where do we go? I don't know, I'm going this way. Wow, there's already people in line for the Aquamouse. Oh my God. Water coaster. This is a different slide. This is the, 
the Toy Story slide, I guess. Wow. I like all the levels of pools that there are. Yeah, so we have like a level right there and then one up there and there. This one's a pool too, right? Ooh, it's just like a stage right now. Yeah, wow, so there's a pool right here and then a waterfall down to this one and then another level down there. I like that, that's really nice. I, it's kind of like the um, solarium on quantum class yeah. ships on Royal because it has those different levels and I think that's so smart. It is. These are nice little lounge chairs. So now we're looking for the Marceline Market, which is essentially cabanas, but it's a different name, I guess. Do you want to go in or up? I think in. Okay. We really have like no idea of where to go or anything. Ooh, fancy. It's Disney magic. No, it was because I waved this at it. Oh. I guess that's Disney magic. I like that you can just hover your finger above the button. It's just like on Odyssey of the Seas. I've heard a lot of people say that when it gets really crowded though, like all of them get pressed because there's so many people. Huh. So that's interesting. Wait, I like this, this is, elevator too. Yeah, this is like Cinderella wallpaper. Whoa. It looks, it lo it's so different in this elevator bank. It's so classy, I love yeah. it. Wow, here we go. Marceline Market, do you know what Marceline is? It's Walt's hometown. No, is that right? I think that's right. I think it, that's right. It's um, what Main Street USA gets its inspiration from. I did a tour once in uh, Magic Kingdom that's called Marceline to Magic Kingdom. Ooh, wash your hands, washy washy dear. Gotta put my wand away. Yeah. It looks really nice in here. It does look really nice in here. And it does have a different vibe than Cabana's. It does. I think we're like the first people here. I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to be here yet. Wow, there's like, there's three, there's four screens instead of just like the big one, you know? Oh, I see. And there's a remix of It's a Small World Plane. <laughs> okay, we're gonna check out this area. This says reserved for guests 18 and up. We're kind of striking out. We're, we're here too early. Marceline Market isn't open yet. Um, we're not ready to go to our stay rooms yet. Look how nice this looks though. Wow, this area looks really cool. And this is just for all adults, right? Yes. The view of the slide right here is really neat. There is a concierge, um, special concierge lunch in 1923. For now, we're skipping it? We're skipping it for now. Just because we like to explore. Yeah, we want to explore while the ship is empty. Hot tub. Wow, hot tub right here, that's neat. Should we test to see how comfy these are? Yeah. The thing is, there's a, oh, that's nice. Is it good? Yeah, there's a special concierge, like hot tub and pool section. So I don't know how long we're gonna be here. Yeah, you're right. Cause we're gonna probably be over there. Yeah, you're right. But these are nice. So this is the Quiet Cove pool. Wow. So this is the adults only pool. Wow. Oh, so this is a, this is just where you put your- Gosh. No, the oh. water is coming down on the seat. So the water comes down on your back and then you put your feet in the water. I love that. I thought it was gonna be a hot tub at first. Yeah, me too. So here's the Cove Bar with some nice looking seats over here. And, and then this, this is like an infinity pool. Wow, and that's like a seat too. Oh yeah, there's like a seat right there. Th this, this is really nice. I can see though, I've heard people complain that it's too small, the area. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. And then I guess on this side is the same thing that was on the other side, yeah. This Very really cool. Nice I like the, the innovation because like, you ha I've never seen this before. Yeah, and here's the Cove Cafe, which I think is the coffee place. It's not a Starbucks, which I'm shocked because all the Disney parks have a Starbucks, but n none of the ships have a Starbucks. Do you want to go in or do you want to save that? No, we, we, can, we can go later. Very cool though. There are people in there and croissants. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> I'm taking this on every cruise. There's Independence right down there. Two weeks ago, we were on Independence. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this ship is very well decorated. We've it only really seen is. so much of it, and it's still like, it's like beautiful. Yeah. Okay, we, I think we're at a dead end. Well, we're gonna go over there, but I like how they um, cover it up because I was a little like, that's weird that the aqua mouse is right next to the adult area, yeah. but they cover it. Okay, we just took the stairs up, and this is another level to the adult section, I guess. Ooh, that makes it feel nice and much bigger. Yeah, there's a lot of quiet areas here in the shade with these nice chairs. This almost feels like a secret. Yeah, this does seem like a secret spot. And here's Port Canaveral here. 
We're sailing out of Port Canaveral. Um, it's a three night cruise. Uh, tomorrow is a sea day. And the next day after that is Castaway Key. So this is kind of a rare sailing because a lot of these three night cruises, um, in fact, this is the only one I saw on the Disney website that does not have a stop at Nassau. Here's another rarity. We are directly in between Halloween on the high seas and, oh yeah. Uh, what's the other one called? Fairy time. The Christmas thing. Yeah, and so like we're like the only sailing that is not Halloween yeah. and not Christmas. Yeah, because right now it's November fourth. So. so. This one's the best one. Yeah, these pools. This is a good design. Pluto's pool. Oh, Daisy's. Pool. They all have a name. They're each character. Donald's is up there. Each character Mickey. has a pool. I assume this is Mickey. Yeah. Oh, this is Minnie. So I bet that one's Mickey. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna head back to Marceline Market now. Yes, because now it's it's 12 o'clock, which is when it opens. I wonder if you have to carry this to open the doors. So they have a bunch of different sections here, which is a good setup, so it's not just one line. I like that this section is lower for yeah. kids, even though I kind of want some of it because it's like french fries and chicken tenders. Yeah, that's like the kids' counter. I kind of want that too. <laughs> so I'm so glad they have an outdoor section. To Love to see it. Love it. Um, and I got kid food, but that's okay because I'm a kid at heart. And I got grown-up food because I'm a grown-up. What'd you get? Um, I don't even really know. I think this is prime rib and those are pork uh, pot stickers. Yeah. And then this is a salad because I eat vegetables, I guess. Something that I noticed, it's like, it's kind of like the buffet in most sections are set up where they have glass. So you can't serve yourself and that's how the restaurant it's was like designed. Permanently the people are getting it for you. Yeah. I try I love that. We love when the like there's not people with dirty hands touching the tongs and stuff like that. I so I love that. The confusing part is when you already have a plate from one section. Oh. You have to like give it to the people. Yeah. Then they'll fill it and then you get it back. Instead of like just showing them and then they'll fill it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's a cool staircase here by Marceline Market that says there's the vibe and hideaway. So we're gonna see what's in here. Be allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> we don't really know anything. <laughs> oh, so this is vibe. So I think this is one of the kids' areas. Yeah, that's but I just wanna look around. Oh, let's go. I think this is the basketball court. Oh. Is it indoors? This is hero zone. So this is kind of like the Cplex. It seems like it. On Royal. Well, should we start playing basketball? So this is an indoor basketball court. There's ping pong. Oh, this is exactly like the Cplex. Do you think I can make a basket? Whichever one of us can make it first uh, decides what we do next. Where do we, where do we? Wherever you want. Okay, I'm gonna do it from right here. Okay. That's where you have to do it from too. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing flip-flops, by the way. The bank is closed. You suck. Maybe I want to play. Wait, 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 wait. Let me edit. Play, you're not letting me play. Let me edit this so that it looks like I got it the first time. Okay. The bank is closed. Okay. Bank's not opening today. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> ha! Oh. I win. Okay, so this is Vibe. So I think this is the teenager area. Oh. This looks cool in here. Wow, this does look cool. Maybe like video games, foosball, a demented Mickey. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. Oh, a big TV with a couch. Wow. Like a board game thing. That's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go through here. That's a whole vibe. Okay, across from the vibes, we have <gasps> the rose. Wow. That's so cool. <gasps> and the mirror. Oh my god. Can I pick it up or? You could like perform a spell here. Oh, it's stuck. So oh, is it really? But what if you bend down and look at it? What if I looked and I was like the beast? On the outside, one of the leaves. That's magic. Be cool if the petals were falling. Oh, I love this. Wow. Okay, so this is a bar, and then at the end is Paolo. Is that brunch for us yeah, tomorrow? So, so the thing, what's really cool about us having a sea day tomorrow is we get to do Paolo brunch. This is a great view. It is. Yeah, it's really nice. And I love how all the seats are like facing the view. It looks like a rose. Like the ceiling kind of looks like a rose, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, and there's like rose petals on the back wall there. Oh wow. 
Look at this. It says be our guest. Is this like a guest book? It is. Look at this guest book. That's so cool. I want to sign it. We skipped over, but like yeah. Mrs. Potts. That, that's like the um, the live action movie Chip. style, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Cogsworth. We're in the pool deck now, and they have a whole thing for ice cream. Look how many ice cream machines they have. Yeah, but you can't do it yourself. No. This is amazing. It, it's the ship is like it looks like the ship is literally designed where nothing is really self serve. Yeah, with COVID in mind. I don't know. I I I think they designed that before COVID. I don't know though. This is amazing. What's on the menu? So this is Goofy's Grill. I really do like the stuff on the pool deck. All the food options that are right here. Babe, there's an Impossible Burger. Oh, that's nice. Impossible or plant-based sausage. And they have hot dogs and... Very cool. Chicken tenders. I've heard very good things about the barbecue, so I want to find that. Oh, I hear. I see barbecue sauce right there. So, yeah. Oh, here's Smokehouse Barbecue. Wow. Wow, it smells really good. It does. Well, we'll have to get that because I don't even know when because we're so jam-packed with yeah. all of our meals. That's another reason why we did Marceline Market today is because this is only a three-night cruise. We were like thinking about all of our meals and it's like we're not going to have another chance to go to Marceline Market because tomorrow we're doing Palo Brunch and the next day is Castaway. So it's crazy. We had to like do a little snack at Marceline because we wanted to check it out. Get to see everything. There's things that like we want to do because we're concierge, like eating yeah. in your room. Yeah. And so it's like, there's too much to do. There's so much. Oh, babe, there's birds in the light. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's just so much to pack in on this three night cruise. This is pretty. So far, the ship is like so nice. It is. The art is really nice. Just walking around is like, it looks so nice and fancy and yeah. clean. We have the tangled sun right there, I think. The doors are closed. Oh, okay. Okay, our rooms are still not ready. <laughs> we keep doing this. We keep coming to things too early. And something, um, if you didn't know, it's kind of obvious, but when you see a map of the ship and the ship is pointing that way, that means that's where the front of the ship is. Is that too obvious? <laughs> I mean, it's helpful. So here's where we are. That's our room right there. It's right there. Yeah, okay. So. We have a little bit of time to kill. I think we should go check out like the kids clubs because those are going to be for kids only. I just want to see what they look like. Okay. Because like on boarding day, you can go look and like adults can see what they look like without kids. And then like as soon as the ship sails, they you, close it. Do you want to go to the spa and book our thing? Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go down to five. So you know how I, would, I just pointed out the, the Tangled Star? Now this floor, we just came down. Now that's a shell, so it's probably Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, and there's like fish. That's neat. It is neat. Oh, and look, there's Sebastian right here. So I guess this is the Little Mermaid floor or yeah. something. Little Mermaid is one of the shows in the theater. Okay, so now this looks like Tiana stuff. But I think that's like a Cinderella bird. Okay, yeah. So maybe... Maybe we're wrong. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, we can never be wrong. Uh oh. We came down again. This is stupid. We, we just keep showing the rugs <laughs> as we keep going down the stairs. But that one's Cinderella because it's this stupid pumpkin carriage. There's a candy wrapper on the ground. Are they gonna give us candy? Hello. <gasps> Mickey, hi! <laughs> oh my gosh, you look great! It's so nice to see you in your outfit! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Bye! We're at the entrance of the spa. We're signing up for the rainforest room. So this is per person. It's 195 and then they add a 18% gratuity. Um, yeah. A lot of people are here signing up for it right now. So it's $200 per person for the whole cruise. There's no option to do one day. A lot of people get there as soon as the ship opens up to make their reservations. But now we're just gonna go check it out. It smells very good in here. It does. It smells like lavender. Yeah, they have an open house right now so we can go check it out. And it officially opens at 4.30. Whoa! Look at these chairs in the water. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, and those nice chairs there. But well, let's go outside. Wow. Okay, so this is really what you want to sign up for. This is insane. That's really cool. Nice hot tubs. This is where. So we're at the very front of the ship here. Yeah. This is like where the helipad usually is. Although I guess they probably have a helipad up there. No, this is. We're at the very front of the ship. They, but up there, there isn't anything. No. See, look, there's the, the bridge, the captain's bridge. This is very cool. 
There was like a fire room and an ice room so you could like go between them. There was tea inside and like towels and stuff. We should go like look a little bit better in there. I think this is a great use of space. Yeah, and I also think if you're not concierge, like you should definitely purchase this because it's a better like private space for a hot tub. Cold water, oh, sparkling water on top. <laughs> wow, and then they have hot water for the tea. That's neat. Wow, the frigerium. I don't know what that means, but we'll have to try that out later. So I'm, I'm guessing this is a sauna. Okay, it's very hot. I can feel the heat. But it's like dry. And then they have these showers everywhere, which I think they're meant to be used like right after you get out of the sauna. Should I take it right now? Yeah. <laughs> and here's some other showers here. So maybe, you know, you take a hot shower after the cold one. Wait, look at all the ice in there. That's cool. Oh my God. It's a frigidario. That's really cool because I don't really like saunas because they're too hot. I feel like you could go in there and then go in a sauna or go in a sauna and then go in there. Yeah, or vice versa, yeah. So we just popped outside, right outside the spa. We're gonna take these stairs up here. And we're gonna get a cool view of the spa. We're gonna be at the very front of the ship. <laughs> you need to blow dry your hair and the blow dryer in the room just isn't cutting it. Come out here. Yeah, come out here. You can like, it smells like a new ship. It does, it has that new ship smell. Yeah. Okay, so there's the fridge. And here's, the, this, we're at the very front of the ship here. So there is no helipad. You know, Disney ships don't really have a helipad usually. I figured there would be one. But I guess we could walk right here because this is open. Yeah. And here's the um, the rainforest room. This is the outdoor section of the rainforest room. Oh, but look, it, for, it forms a Mickey head. I love that. We haven't even <laughs> seen like the main three floors yet. We haven't, we have, there's still so much we haven't seen, but it's just like, we gotta run around and look at everything. And we saw Mickey. Which, you know, th that's my favorite part of a cruise is the first day when you're just running around looking at everything for the first time. And this cruise is especially cool because like we do Royal all the time and like yeah. all their ships kind of look the same, but this is like completely different and new. Yeah. And I'm king of the world. <laughs> so this is the very front of the ship here. This is awesome. I love this. There is something about Disney cruising. Like if you're a Disney fan. Oh my God. It's like, it's next level. There is, there's something about Disney cruises where there is like that touch of magic that Royal just doesn't have. It's like the music in the halls and yeah. the rugs that you're like, oh, that character <laughs> yeah. is from that movie. And but like, like. But if you're not a Disney fan, I don't think. It wouldn't matter. I don't you think do it's going to have that magic. Yeah. Like we do like the Royal ships better. Let's just bash this cruise right now. <laughs> no, we, we like the Royal ships better, but there is a, a touch of magic that the Royal ships don't have. But they can't have because it's Disney's magic. Yeah. And like for us, you know, there's no casino on Disney ships and that's something we miss. We just love gambling. <laughs> I told all my coworkers that like, the reason why cruising is so cheap is because sometimes we get free cruises because we gamble. And I feel like they like had a whole new light to me because they were like, Carrie is a sweet, innocent girl who never drinks. And it's like, oh, Carrie gambles? <laughs> Okay, so we're looking in these windows here and it looks like that's the gym. Yeah, I see treadmills, which you know we would never use, but. You know what's really funny is we've never been into a cruise ship gym and I have no intention of uh, changing that. Yeah, I don't think I ever will be either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Neverland Cinema, here we go. Wow. wow. It looks so cool. So yeah, we just did our muster station um, check-in. <gasps> It's kind of a small theater. I think there's multiple though. Yeah. On the ship they did multiple, but small. This is a small movie theater, but look, there's Tinkerbell. It feels very like intimate because of that. Wow, this is very cool. Yeah. There's a bunch of um, like North, East, Southeast, West. It's very cool. Yeah. And there's clouds on the ceiling. So yeah, we just did our muster station check-in, which is like, you know, you can do it on the app now. We did hear a rumor that that might be going away, just a rumor, because the rumor was that the Coast Guard- They don't has, like this new like e-muster. Yeah, and they're gonna make everyone gather at the same time outside, like it used to be done in the past. Hopefully that's not true. We didn't have to do it today, so who knows? We'll see what happens. The AC feels very good in here. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go across the hall now. They oh. have Mickey candy. Have candy and- popcorn. I love this stuff. Okay. So across the hall is the other movie theater. So this is Wonderland. I got confused that Neverland and Wonderland were the same. What a peculiar place. Peculiar. So this is one that's themed after Alice. Okay, wait, what's the name of this thing? Dear? That's Cheshire. Okay, because before you got it wrong. That's because I was joking. No. Ooh. So this is like the same thing, just mirrored. <laughs> wow. Well, do I want the Tinkerbell or do I want the cat? Oh, the cat's cooler. And they're all different. I feel like the Tinks were all the same, but these are all different. 
This one's cooler. I am surprised about how small the movie theaters are. I think the chairs were cooler in Neverland. Oh, these are like they're cards. cards. The cat's kind of scary. Just all the decoration on the ship is- It's just next level. It is next level. Little does everyone know, I was Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Wow. Back in high school. <laughs> and I like never left the state. Oh yeah, it was a one man show. It wasn't a one man show. <laughs> it was almost, it was almost a one man show. I mean, I was always on stage. Yeah. But how many other performers? Lots. Oh. But it was in a black box theater. Yeah. Which I think is cool. <gasps> oh my god. Look at the doorknobs. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I think our room is ready because this door is open. So. And of course, it's right here, right <laughs> off the elevator bank. We love getting rooms right by the elevator. 13522. Two, two. Come magical and like clean. There's a doorbell. Oh, there's a doorbell. Let's ring it. And it's a Mickey face. I oh, I wanted it to do like when you wish upon a star. <laughs> Look, they're gold. Oh, that's fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. There's fruit. Babe, there's a coconut. There's a coconut. Wow. There's a chameleon. Oh my God, it's Pascal. I couldn't even see him. So I think our room is themed to Tangled because look, here's Rapunzel's tower and here's Pascal. I love Tangled. Okay, wow. but so far, this is crazy. I think we need to close the blinds because it's- It's, it's like to too see. bright in here. Okay. So I think you can connect to the room next door and that's where it would be. Look at this stuff. What is that stuff? So first of all, we get um, two lanyards. Wow. And then what's in here? It says Look inaugural at ceilings. Oh, that's neat. It's kind of This is Club. so cool. Castaway Club, inaugural ceilings on the Wish. That's a really cool oh gift. Oh my God, and this is a nice bag. That's awesome. Oh, and this is a bag too. Yeah, like that's like a laundry bag. That's nice. I don't know what that is. Is it for your luggage? Might be for your luggage. I don't know. It's stretchy. I feel like it is for your luggage. Wait, let me try to turn on the lights here. Yeah. We need to go to a proper room tour, okay? <laughs> so we come in. We can't figure out the light. We can never figure out the lights. Pascal. Okay, first thing, wait, what's oh, in here? Bathroom, I think. Oh. Well, very good afternoon, Disney Wish. Before we go in. I just noticed the carpet is tangled it's too. Tangled. Everything is tangled in this room. That's yeah. pretty neat. I really like that we have a pet. Yeah, that's a must. Okay, first th first stop, the bathroom. Bathroom number one. Bathroom number one. It looks nice. What's that? <laughs> this oh, is a big shower. This is a walk-in shower. What? This is a really big shower. Body wash infused buffer. Whoa, wait, look, the soap is different. They don't have the H2O soap anymore. Because they went out of business. That company shut down. Wow, are we gonna like this? I know, but it's very full, that's good. It is good, this is a really big shower. This is insane. This is totally insane. That might be the biggest crew shower I've ever right. seen. This is bigger than our shower at home. It really is. <laughs> and then we have hand wash there too, which I really appreciate. So I guess like that's the trash can? I don't know. So the door automatically closes, so we're in the bathroom together right now. Because <laughs> it just auto-closes. Um, and you know what? There's no step. Oh, that's just, nice. That's, that's new, because normally there's a step up into the bathroom. And the, the, the decorations is very classy. Yeah, this is really, that's really nice. So this- Is this not a light? We can't, not we can't figure out the lights. It's dark in here. But that's like the sun from Tangled too. Wait, is this a, a closet? Is it a closet? Oh, it's very oh heavy. God, I, I just thought it was. Um, wow, look at all the life jackets. They intend for oh. so many people to be in here. This is this insane. Is a, this is the biggest. That's big enough for a laptop. This is. Oh my God. <laughs> Danny, this is big enough for a laptop. Oh my God. Wow. That's crazy. This is a really nice closet. Yeah. And I thought it was just a mirror. It's very heavy. So, what is this room? This is, this is a concierge one bedroom suite. Yep. And it's room 13522. There's like information here, but we're gonna read that later. Yeah, so we have a table here, which means we can eat our room service meals there. And then this is the living room. And then that connects, like we said before, if you have another room, here's the TV. And then here's our bedroom. There's like little um, 
pocket doors. Oh, wow. Because I was thinking like, my gosh, what if you had somebody staying out here? There's oh. no privacy, but actually there is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the bedroom. Oh, and it's tangled behind the bed. Wow, wait, is this, this charges your phone. Wait, does it? And there's really? a watch thing. Wait, let me try it right now. <laughs> oh my God, you don't even need to bring a charger. Wait, let me try my watch too. This is the coolest thing. That's so cool. They have a phone charger that you don't even need to bring your own phone. Oh wait, there's another TV here. Yeah. So you can watch TV on the couch or in bed. Oh my God. Is it soft? Holy mackerel. I need to try it. Oh my God. Like, I want to buy this. Holy crap. That's softer than our bed at home. And we have a really soft bed. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the nicest room we've ever stayed in. Okay. I cannot believe how soft this bed I is. I noticed there's like a, a trunk and I have to know if there's something in it. Okay, it doesn't open. <laughs> okay, it's a little. <laughs> well, what about this? <laughs> okay, they're all they, shut. They're carry proof. But look, this is like a place where you could do makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup here. There's a little seat down there. I love it. That's crazy. Okay, okay see. second bathroom. It opens inward. <laughs> 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 Wait, there's a whole closet Wait a room. What? <laughs> Wait, so this is a closet? Slide. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, what do I do with this? Is that for oh, like a suit? That's to, no, that's to put on shoes. No. It's like dress shoes, yeah. It's a shoehorn. Oh, <gasps> baby. Oh my God. Wow. Look how ritzy. What's that? What do I do with that? I don't even know. Is that, what is it? <laughs> but the robe is really nice. I can't believe there's like, like a hallway with a closet here. This has like the concierge thing on it. Yeah. And there's slippers in there. Wow. Okay, let's see the bathroom. Oh my God. What's in that one? Oh, just like more storage. Who's ever gonna bring enough stuff for a three night cruise to fill in? <laughs> yeah, this ship is only doing three and four night sailings. Oh my God. <laughs> this is huge. <laughs> All the doors close um, oh my God. automatically. This is so cool. This, this is the biggest cruise bathroom I've ever seen. This is insane. So look, that's the toilet room. Wait, really? Oh, so that's where the toilet is. Where's the shower? Oh, and here's another shower. We could literally both shower at the same time in different showers. I don't know how to open it. Is it in or? There's, I can't do it. <laughs> oh, this one is I, smaller than the other one. I think it's so cool that we could both shower at the same and time. We each have our own body wash infused thing <laughs> and this is a big tub this smells good you should get in the tub so we can see how big it is okay this is i can't even like i won't be able to do the thing where i put my feet on that side and my head on that side <laughs> oh this is cool oh. wow okay feet flat and you're five two. And like I would be underwater <laughs> if the thing was full. So I'll have to like keep myself afloat. This is insane. I think it's really cool that it's tangled themed. Like everything is tangled. In like a classy way too. Yeah. I cannot believe this bathroom. <sighs> this bathroom is the size of a regular stateroom. <laughs> it really is. Is there a scale there? <gasps> Don't. Look at that. That's dangerous for a cruise. Yeah, you don't want that. I don't want that. What's in here? What is that? Shower cap. Shower cap. Q-tips. Q -tips. Little pads. This is like a thing for your toothbrush. Oh my god, they thought of everything. <sighs> this, is, this is... Look how big this yeah. mirror is. Oh, and look, we didn't we didn't bring soap on this cruise because we hoped that they would have something like yeah. this, and they do. This is no joke bigger than our bathroom at home. <sighs> this is how we should design our bathroom at home. <laughs> yeah, it'll be an exact <laughs> replica of this. <laughs> I do think it is weird that the doors, you cannot leave them open. This closet is also freaky. Like, look, it's the middle of the night. You have to go to the bathroom, and you have to walk through this closet. Okay, we need to check out the balcony now. <sighs> I'm so impressed. Me too. So I think we can enter the balcony from the bedroom or the living room, I think. Let's see. Wow. 
It's very long. It's very long, but there's no way to like. No lounge lay down. chairs. I guess they they expect you to have four people and not two people with lounge chairs. Yeah. So yeah. Brian Work. will be way over there. <laughs> I'll be way over here, and we'll just wave at each other. <laughs> it is very long, but it's very like narrow. Narrow. Yeah, narrow. But that's okay. I think we're okay. I think we're at the, the top because there's no there's nobody above us here because you can see how yeah. it's just like a shaded type of thing. But over so. there, there is like a little jut out thing. Some people are really excited to board down there. <laughs> yeah, I do wish that there were chairs that you could lay down. But I understand because I'm, I'm sure that they assume like two kids in the living room, two parents in the bedroom, so then you want four chairs. Yeah. I cannot believe how soft this bed is. I'm it's gonna get some blowing. good sleep. Although yeah. we can't sleep at all because there's so much <laughs> to do. Yeah. There's that little um, like there's reading. There's a USB. Oh, there's a USB right by the bed. And look, this is this is a light to read. So you could like face this towards you in bed. Wow. So then Brian can be awake because he likes to be awake longer than me, and he can just you know be reading. Yeah. He loves reading my phone that has a you know a screen on it so you might be wondering how much was this room yeah <laughs> and how much and are you crazy we were supposed to sail on the second sailing of the disney wish that was months ago in the summer and um the construction of the ship was delayed so our sailing was canceled by disney and to make up for it they gave us a 50 percent off coupon so we really wanted to take advantage of that coupon because the coupon was good for any sailing any room any ship so we're like, okay, well, let's book a concierge room and get 50% off. So what we paid essentially for this room is what a normal veranda room would cost. So we figured we already were going to pay this for the veranda. So now we're paying the same amount and we got this amazing room. I'm so excited about it. At first I thought, Brian, you're a nut job. You're crazy. <laughs> but now I'm like, this is the coolest. Yeah. Also, I think I just discovered something. What? I think that this is a bed. Oh, is it really? Yeah, because I think, like, if you, doesn't that seem like it would be, like, one of those fold-out... I don't know. It probably is. So, first of all, they have the little good morning breakfast things. Oh, nice. So, I love that. And there's, like, all this, this stuff. Avocado toast, Mickey waffle. Wow. So, there's that. There's a postcard. There's another postcard. So really like Disney really gives you so much for concierge. There are so many perks of concierge. It's like we've never stayed um, in a suite on Royal, but it seems like the perks for this are really good. Um, so there's the concierge lounge. Um, so they have like snacks and stuff. There's also the sun deck. So there's hot tubs, lounge chairs, waiting pool. Yeah, we should go check that out. Yeah, we really should. And we get in, we got a special room service menu for being in this room. Have like we other, seen it? I don't know. We need to go to the lounge and ask. Yeah. Wait, we should look for the fridge. Do we not have one? We must, somewhere. Okay. <laughs> oh my this God. This is so freaking cool. Oh I just God. thought it was a drawer. By the way, this is stocked with soda. Did we tell our concierge person, like, this is what we want? They asked us, what kind of soda do you want? And we said, we want Powerade, because that's good for the beach and Castaway. Brian and I Red said, Bull. I said Red Bull, and we said um, Diet Coke. Coke. And water. There's waters. And, and they refill this for you, and it's all free. And you can ask for any drink. And I asked for Red Bull, and they got me Red Bull. Oh, this is just a drawer. <laughs> <laughs> that is so gonna... cool and hidden. We need that it's in our cool bedroom. That, it's cool that it's um, a drawer. Brian was like, I don't know if you have this on camera, but like, we need to look for our fridge. And I was like, I guess we don't have a fridge. <laughs> but you forgot that they emailed us and asked what we yeah. wanted. But I think that's amazing that you could ask for anything you want in the fridge and they will refill it the entire cruise. Insane. That is a huge perk. So I guess in the lounge, there's like, it's not just the buffet. There's also a menu. You know what's really funny is Royal Caribbean's calling me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what do they want? Early access to the live shows, fresh popcorn. I think that's so cool. Yeah, there's so much and we'll show everything because we're going to take advantage of all the perks. Exclusive concierge room service. And by the way, they're calling because um, we returned our towels late on our last cruise and I've been, and we returned them. It was just late. 
Disney doesn't care if yeah. you turn in your towels whenever. But I've been... Oh, basic surf internet package for guests 18 plus in your stateroom. Oh, I was wondering about the internet. So we get free internet. So each of us get a free internet package. Um, that is so cool. Here's all the perks if you want to pause the screen maybe. Yeah. Hopefully it's in focus. Okay, so we do get free internet. That's really nice. I think that's amazing. By the way, they're calling because um, we returned our towels late on our last cruise and they charged us $100 for towels. Even though we returned them, it was just a little late. And so I've been calling them, trying to get them to reverse that charge. This is amazing. I think, we, I think we're just gonna discover so much more about this room, but... Um, like, can that candle turn on? Like, I'm sure there's so much that we're gonna discover about this room and we'll show everything, but... I, I like this bag. This room, this is the nicest room we've ever had. And I think it will continue to be, so... <laughs> I think, I wish this was a longer cruise. Me too. I could see someone getting this for a family. Like, I could see my parents and, like, my brother and I staying here when we were, mm -hmm. like, younger. It is very expensive, though. What's cheaper, this or two verandas? Oh, actually, this would probably be cheaper than right. two verandas, yeah. So... Might be worth it. How do I watch like a Disney movie? Okay, we're gonna go to the lounge now, but you know something I just realized is I think that this room is like the size of like two state rooms. Like this would be like this where- This is one. One state room. That's another. And then the other. Here's something like, that I found out when I was sitting on the couch. Need some privacy from the couch people and this pe person? <laughs> I think that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's really cool. And I think, oh yeah, there's another door right here. I could totally see nice. five people staying in here because you have two on the bed, two on this bed. I'm assuming it's like a pullout. And then I think this is a single person bed. I mean, we don't know, but that's probably what I it don't is. know that this is a pullout. It could just be one of those like lay flat single beds. And and I, I was just reading this again and I realized, so we get an exclusive room service menu for one bedroom suite. So because we're in a one bedroom suite, we have a table and I think because we have a table, we get an exclusive menu for room service. So I'm very excited to find out what that is. That's yeah. one of our many questions that we have yeah. for the people in so, the concierge lounge. Yeah, let's go to the lounge right now. Okay. okay. So from the hallway, which by the way, there's more tangled stuff on the carpet there, we have I think this is the upstairs of the concierge lounge. Let's see. You have to use your, your special golden key. <laughs> We're in. There's bathrooms, which is good because I think the pool is right out here. Okay, so there's stairs down into oh. the lounge. Do you want to go yeah. check out the sun deck? Let's do it. This is nice. This is nice. Look. Oh, so here's a bunch of soda and drinks, water. That's nice. Sodas, Coke, apple juice. This is nice. This is kind of like the rainforest room in a way. It is. Look, there's like suntan lotion. Oh, wow, there's sunscreen. And these towels look nicer. They do look nicer. And so this is a hot tub, I'm guessing, there. Seems like it. Another one. Is it a pool? Or? I think. The oh. There's another pool up there. I'm not sure if it's ours, though. Okay, so this is a hot tub. This is a whirlpool. And then this is a little place to put your feet. I love that. What would you call this? I think they call it a wading pool. Yeah. You can't swim in it, but that's really nice. This is awesome. This is the place to be. So do you want to go down from here, outside? Yeah, let's go down here. I don't know what's down here. So this we're at the very front of the ship. So if we look over here, yeah, you can see that's where the, um, the rainforest room was. So let's see what's down here. This is so cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is another outside area oh, of the lounge. Classy that is. This is really nice. And you know this is like never gonna be busy here. Yeah. Wow. How cool. So I think like these rooms right here have like a private hot tub in them. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay, well let's go in. We have a bunch of questions for the host. Okay, so this is what the inside of the lounge looks like. You have a coffee machine. They said they have the best coffee on board. That's what they claim. Oh, that's cool. They have all these different... Like syrups? Yeah. And look, they have fancy tea. They just have chargers in the lounge, portable chargers. Oh, wait, so you could you could bring this to wherever you're sitting and charge your phone on it. That's insane. We have to bring it back if you're a good person. Yeah. So I think these are some snacks that we could get too. Oh my God, there's gummy wow. bears. Oreo cookie on a stick. Stop. Mickey shortbread cookie. 
or oh just shortbread? Oh my god, great! This all looks amazing! Yes, so close. Oh, and oh, there's some sandwiches good. and stuff too. Yes. And sushi. Wow! Rainbow sushi. This is very fancy. And we have another <laughs> fridge of sodas. This fridge is insane. All this stuff is free. Wow, there's Fanta. And it's all these mini cans. I like how they have cherry coke. I'm gonna get that because you don't see that everywhere. No, you don't. This is amazing. We came down one deck from the concierge lounge and we can smell this barbecue emanating all around the ship. So we have to get some. Wow, it smells so good. Wow, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I love this barbecue place. I got mac and cheese, cornbread, pulled pork, a piece of chicken. This is insane. They gave me so much pulled pork. I got a piece of chicken and cornbread and they have my South Carolina style barbecue. Yeah, they have um, a bar or they have like a barbecue sauce station down there and they also have pizza here. We're on the other side now. Tacos. And then Donald Cantina. So I guess that's Mexican food. I love this setup. I really like the way it like curves around the whole ship. So it, it doesn't yeah. seem as like chaotic as before where they were all just like in a row. I like this better than Marceline Market like by far. I would come here all, all day. Yeah. And it tastes good. Up there is the main lobby and there's the slide that goes down into the kids club. So cool, we're gonna check it out while it's open to the general public. On boarding day, they open it up so adults can see what it looks like in there and then it closes for kids only, the rest of the cruise. Okay, so this is a Star Wars thing. Freaking cool. This is insane. Oh my God, see through his head. Oh my God. A little porg. This is the coolest Star Wars thing that Disney's ever done. Yeah, this is, this is insane. Oh, oh, there's like sound effects. It's like we're in a Star Wars ship. This is nuts. What? This should be for adults too. This should be what the hyperspace lounge is. Yeah. Look at this guy. Oh, that's um, uh, Gary the snail. <laughs> Aww. I feel like this thing is in um, Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge. Edge. The noises in here also kind of sound like Galaxy's Edge. Oh, look at the hand washing. Okay, you should do it. Okay. These, I'm just the right height for it. These hand washing stations are the coolest thing ever. I love these. Here's the thing though, I feel like it's extra germy because like oh. everybody's... You, you, if you put your hands in there, they will feel cleaner than they've ever felt. Okay, I have to put my... Just, just don't touch your hands on, on the, the inside. Okay. okay. So what happens is a ton of water sprays all <laughs> over your hands, like soapy water. Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> Pickles! I wish they had these at like, like the, the buffet or like... Oh my know, god! My hands other... do feel cleaner than they've ever felt before. Yeah. They need these in like every restaurant. Why not like... Why is it only the kids area? This Here, invention to needs it. to go everywhere. Okay, so we were in the cargo bay. Should we finish that way and then go that way? Yeah, let's go that way. Okay. They're playing the Paint the Night um, music. Which is a great song. Paint the Knights of the Parade, so this is Marvel. The thing is, I don't know anything about Marvel. So I'm not like, what? Yeah, we're not really caught up on our Marvel stuff. It's cool, but it's just not for me. Yeah, I think what we have, um, what they're calling the, the superhero fatigue. At least I do, anyway. I, I like Spider-Man, I like Batman. That's it. So this area is the Walt Disney Imagineering Lab. So cool. I think that's a great idea. Wow. Oh, so it's like you get to draw and probably work on other... I want to do that. They have a 3D printer over there. I don't know if you could actually use the 3D printer. So here's the model of the Wish. We, I think we saw this at Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I remember back in the old... So this is, this, so this is a ride simulation, except for it doesn't move. It's just like the screen. The screen. Like the, the vehicle doesn't move, but I'm sure there's a ton of cool Easter eggs in here. Yeah. What is Slidosaurus Rex? Is that a thing? That's the water slide on the the top. That's not the Aqua Mouse, the yellow one. Yeah. Wow, they have um, Shanghai Disneyland Pirates. Oh, I've heard that Pirates is amazing. Here's the, the, the simulator going. Oh. So, um, in the old... Cabanas. Market. Yeah, they used to tell you all the clocks, now they're here. There's the, the clocks for each park location. I think this is the last room, and this room's for like kids that are... Should we draw? This is for like little, little it's kids. It's still very cute. I could see our nephews, Brian's nephews, <laughs> put a ring on it, my nephew. Oh my god. Grace it in bed. And if you fall in the ocean, you could, you know, throw that in. Yeah, I bet that's what it's for. And we found the coolest painting. 
I love how all the other ships are in the background. Yeah. I also love that the scenery reminds me of Norway. Like this is literally Norway, I think. It's amazing. That's the coolest one. I love this. So we're gonna put up our fish extender here. If you Brian, don't know, what's a fish extender? If you don't know what a fish extender is, um, on the older Disney ships, there's this little thing. You can put a letter here or hang something from this. And, and it it's used a to fish. Be, used to be a fish. Now we're on the wish. So it's a sun extender. So now I think it's the Tangled logo. Mm. But this is still a fish extender. So this is a little thing you hang on your door and then people will drop gifts in here. So this is something that um, a lot of people on Etsy will make fish extenders for you. And so you tell them, you know, everyone that's gonna be in your stateroom, and you, can, and you they fully customize it for you and yeah. they make them. There's a lot of shops on Etsy that do this. We bought ours, do we remember? We, we, we bought ours on Etsy. I don't remember the shop, there's a lot of them. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, they customized it with views and cues and um, Carrie and Carrie's little character is- Don't I look just like her? Belle, because Carrie mm -hmm. played Belle. So anyway, you sign up on Facebook and you join a group. You have to do it months before your cruise. You join your group and you get assigned for, in our case, it was five rooms. Yeah, it's um, not done through the cruise line. This is not, a, Disney doesn't organize it. It's all done by fans on Facebook. Yeah. Um, but Disney knows that it happens and, and they- Don't they, they like sell their own? Uh, so Disney, things? some of the Disney cruise gift shops used to sell them. I don't know if they still sell them anymore, but people, sometimes people make their own. Sometimes people go on Etsy. Anyway. I guess we didn't put our thing up quick enough because we already got a fish extender gift. I feel like they so, did better than us because we each got one and we didn't do one for each person, we did one for each room. So so yeah, we need to we we have our gifts. We're gonna I think we should pass out our gifts like maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Um but yeah, people will normally like drop their the gift in your thing and you come back to your room and it's like, oh you got a Oh my god, thing. I got a gift. Yeah. It's like a little gift exchange. It's, it's cool. It's fun. It's like um like a Santa Claus, what's it called? It's like Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Kind of yeah. yeah. Very fun. Um, yeah. Okay, I like like they made little tags so you know who it's from. We didn't do that. Oh, we didn't do that. Are we doing this all wrong? Oh, this oh is it mine. says your oh, name. That's mine. I didn't realize. From Sandy, Sandy and Nicole. Nicole. That's cool. Yeah. Are they also staying in concierge? Because they're 12, 16. That sounds Maybe. concierge -y. I don't know. I hope I explained it well enough, though, because um, I've had two Red Bulls, two of the free Red Bulls. So He's like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's just a little gift exchange. Um, I think, yeah, we're going to hand ours out tomorrow. I feel like, you know, looking at this, I feel like we didn't do a good enough job. Ooh. This looks cool. Ah, I made that noise I don't like. Uh. Whoa! This is a little toitry bag that you can hang on your bathroom door. Holy moly, they really went all out. Okay, really so there's did. little Purell wipes and like this is a nice bag. Ah Emergency kit. Wow, get so it? I bet like because I'm Carrie, I'm a girl, oh. I get like the makeup eraser thing. It's like Christmas. This is like Christmas. Look, there's like a little sewing Oh, a sewing kit. kit. That's actually really nice. We've so we've needed awesome. that before and we had to go to guest services and they actually yeah. had one for, there for us there. Wow, what's in the emergency? Probably like a first aid kit. Wow. That's like a first aid kit. That's cool. What's this? A nail file? <gasps> yeah, it is a nail file. Oh, and then this is more nail care. Oh. That's actually really useful because that's this something really you don't really think of bringing. It's totally something you could forget, yeah. yeah. And then, ooh, peach mango lip balm. Wow. I this is so cool and way more useful and like, ugh, just so cool. Th these people, they went all They out. did really good. Brian kept telling me like, oh, don't worry, Carrie. Like people don't really get like that cool of stuff. So it's a, it, I mean, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you'll get a bottle of hand sanitizer. Sometimes people will give you a shirt. Now I feel bad. No, ours are good. And they they got us one each, and we just did one per room. No, I think ours are good. Oh, we suck. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna open mine. Yeah. Whoa. So this is a, a little toiletry bag, and it has some cool stuff in there. Maybe show us. Thank you, Sandy and Nicole. Sandy and Nicole rock. I, you guys will probably never see this video, but someone out there made a video, and they posted it on YouTube of the fish extender. <gasps> Oh, this is like the um, the poopery thing, like the nice. bathroom scent thing. Oh, this is a flashlight. That's cool. I like wow, that the, the, the things are here. different. I've assumed you were gonna get like the same thing, but with more like masculine stuff. These are stitch socks. Okay, so on the, the form where we filled out that we wanted to do fish extenders, one of the questions was, what's your favorite oh uh, character in Disney? And I put stitch for you. Wow, and then this is a little keychain bottle opener. This is this is really cool. Thank you, Sandy and Nicole. Th 
this is, is we are starting off like really idea. strong yeah wow i can't wait to see what else we get it's gonna be like oh. like we'll come back to our room and we'll be like oh my god there's a cool gift and it's, it's fun christmas day yeah we'll think we'll, we'll probably get five gifts because or no four yeah because there's five groups Cause we're one of the five or are we one of six i don't remember i don't remember no because we have five presents so yeah okay so unless we're one of six unless we're stupid i don't know we're probably stupid but we gotta go because gotta go they're to, doing the sail away. Sail away party, so we should go check that out. All right, my my hairband has this string, and I just wish that I had a fish extender. If only you had a sewing kit. Yeah, that could fix this. Yeah. Okay, we came up one deck because we wanted to see this pool that's up here on deck 14. Wow, this is cool. Whoa, this is nice. This is kind of like a secret hidden pool that's kind of away from like the, the TV and the movies and the yeah. music and stuff. It almost seems like the satellite cove of... Yeah, in a way, but it's for all ages. Yeah, this is a nice view. Okay, so we're on 14 and we're out like looking down into... Concierge. Concierge. This room. is somebody's room. Oh, yeah. Well, so far, this ship is amazing. I it's love it. It's so pretty. It is so different than the other Disney ships. Yeah. It is a lot different. And in a good so much, way. There's so much for us to like explore. Like there's so much for us to look at and like we've been just walking around and like everything is new it seems. It's crazy. Yeah. And by the way, our stateroom attendant, we met him just a few minutes ago and I can like already tell he's the best stateroom attendant we've ever, we've ever had. He might be the best stateroom attendant in the world. Yeah, he was he was super nice. It's clear why they put him in the concierge area. Yeah, and we got our spot for the sail away party. This is kind of where we were last time on our other Disney cruise. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a perfect comparison. Yeah. We just watched the sail away party. I thought it was really cool. I'm, I, I like when they're like different, like this is specific to this ship. I thought it was really cool that the fairy godmother came out because this is the Disney wish and she makes wishes. Oh, that's awesome. I loved when like Mickey came out. I loved when Cinderella came out. There were so many big reveals and it was just like so amazing. Like people get so hyped. And this is one of the things about a Disney cruise is like when they do the sail away party, it's like, you don't get that kind of vibe on, on Royal. It's just different, you know? Yeah. Okay, wait time 20 minutes for the Aqua Mouse. I really want to do this. I think wait gonna... time 20 minutes. Yeah, that's not too bad. No, that's funny that it has it though. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, and there's like a queue. There's a legit queue. Okay, we're going to put our stuff here in these cubbies right here and get in line. I'm really excited to try this. Me too. Got off the Aqua Mouse. We headed to the adult pool. Carrie's swimsuit looks like Minnie Mouse. Of course, on purpose. But yeah, we're in the very aft of the ship and we're pulling away right now from Port Canaveral. This is a cool place to be during Sail Away. I really have my sunglasses like Brian. I really like the adult pool in the aft of the ship facing the ocean with the glass wall there. I think that's really awesome. I love that. I, I loved it too. It was hard to get in and out of it though. Yeah, it was a little bit. I feel like you need to be very strong. But yeah, we're sailing away. We're passing by Jetty Park right now, Jetty Beach. But anyway, what did you think of the Aqua Mouse? I liked it. It was really cool. I really liked the ride up. There are a few yeah. uh, surprises here and there. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say beyond that. It's that much different. No. Than the Aqueduct. It's not. So. I mean, I really enjoy the Aqua Duck. Yeah. So. So Disney said this was the first attraction at sea. So I was like, how is it going to be? How is the Aqua Duck not an attraction at sea? So I was really interested to see what would, what makes it an attraction, and why is Aqua Duck not an attraction? Um, it's so similar. It to is. The Aqua Duck. It really I, is. I, I don't even know which one's better, honestly. I think they're kind of at the same level. Like this one seems a lot faster and shorter. Except yeah. for the part where you go up. The other one seems maybe more thrilling. And this one maybe is more like story-ish. Like, the aqueduct is, it's like slower, so the ride lasts longer. Right. Um, but it's not as, it's like... Fast. Like this one, like your, your raft moves a lot faster. Yeah. Um, I think, I guess what makes it an attraction is that you have the screens as and you go up. And the conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt. 
but it's cool. I, th I like both of them, and I think they're both equally as cool. Yeah, agreed. Okay, but anyway, um, I think we're going to go get ready for dinner now, and we're going to head back to our room. By the way. Get out of the wet clothes. Dinner will be in our room. So let's see how room. that is. Yeah. So as we mentioned before, we got our dinner served to us in our room. So earlier today, we went to the concierge lounge, and we said, hey, we'd really like our 1923 meal delivered to us. Someone just came and knocked at our door and delivered everything that we ordered, including our entree, no. So what'd you get, salad? I got a salad as my appetizer, I got the filet mignon as my entree, and then over there, far away from the We table, have the dessert. We have the dessert. What is this? It just says um, to contact uh, room service to get your trays taken away, but he took them away already. Okay, so and we got bread, and I got the same salad Carrie got, and I got the vegetarian tacos. And I was even able to order a um, non-alcoholic like cocktail thing that they had on the menu, and it came yeah. with a candy straw. I don't know why. On Disney ships, I feel the ship moving a lot more than normal. Yeah. Or a lot more than royal. I don't know if that's a Disney thing or what. I don't know. I literally... Just from the cruises that we've been on, the Disney ships move more. I didn't take my drama meme. I cannot say this word. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> you didn't take it ahead of time is what you're saying. You have to take it ahead of time. Yeah. And then I will say we're also on like almost the top deck of our for our room. And so I think that plays a part of it. Mm -hmm. I had an excellent dinner. I how really was, enjoyed it. How was your steak? The steak was so well seasoned, and then like I really enjoyed the bacony, like wrapped green beans that came with it. So. That was cool. So, um, I guess we're stupid, or maybe this is not known. I don't know. We couldn't figure out how to turn the lights on. Oh my god! Um, it was like dimmed this hold, whole time. You have to hold it. So you have to like hold it down, and this dims it. Ooh. And then if you want to bring it back up, you got to hold it again, and now it brings it back up. Back up. So we I finally you, learned that. That's how you do the lights. There's a little secret tip for you. Yeah, now you know. Um, but anyway, oh, I just wanted to say, okay, so the table thing, um, you cannot get your, so like tonight we're supposed to go to 1923. Right. You cannot get your 1923 dinner delivered to your room unless you have a table in your stateroom, and I think those are one bedroom suites and above. I agree. I think we have the, so, the smallest room p where it's possible to do that. Yeah, so we um, we had to take advantage of this perk that we get. You know, of course. And we're gonna go to 1923 for breakfast a different day. So we get to see the interior. Yeah, and we gotta run to the show now. Yeah. Because <laughs> the show's starting very soon. We're gonna run to that, um, and then I think we'll do the dinner time question when we come back. We'll sit back down at the table. We just have to go. Yeah. Or maybe in the theater. I don't know, but we got to go. Yeah. Oh, the tacos were good, too, by the oh, way. Oh, good. One of us, the tacos, they're vegetarian tacos. It was good. Okay, let's go. All right, one last thing. The churros, probably the best thing on the menu. I really I, liked that. I think the churros were really I good. I really liked this dipping sauce. I think it's caramel, but I, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, we ran down to the theater. We made it just in time for the show, um, and we saw the full thing. It was called Seize the Day. But it was uh, spelled S E A S, like so seize the day. Clever. It was like the Golden it, Mickey's, in that it had like a bunch of different characters singing their songs, mm -hmm. but there were like really unique and cool characters, and like I really enjoyed how Goofy and Minnie were like mixed into it, and it was like, oh, it was just so cool. It was really good. It was definitely like. It was an elevated Disney cruise show. Like what? it was better than the other Disney cruise shows oh we've seen. Gosh. So there was a whole scene with Tiana in it. And the Tiana that they have is spectacular. Like she should be on Broadway and not on the Disney cruise line. Like she was fantastic. Yeah, like this show, it was a high quality show. I, I, I thought it was really good. And they made us honorary captains. Yeah, so we're captains now. So that's pretty cool. I might, you know, pop into the bridge later and put in a shift. I don't I know. I might uh, put that on my LinkedIn. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to Inside Out Joyful Sweets because we need a we need dessert, and I need some ice cream. So they have a bunch of the standard flavors here, and then they have the crazy flavors over here. So you can see what all this stuff is down here too. Yeah. Ooh, and a bunch, Oreo a bunch of other cookie. chocolates and oh, it's like a. I guess Oreo, there's an Oreo inside. Or Oreo cookie with that's like inside those things. That's cool. 
Oh, cupcakes and macaroons? This was in the concierge lounge. Do you think like you could get that for free at concierge? Huh. I don't know. I got the Kit Kat gelato. I tried it already. It's pretty good. What'd you get? I have the cupcake gelato. I have a feeling that I got this when we were on the dream, but I really like it, so I think it makes sense. They give us wooden spoons, and I could taste the wood, kind of, it's when I take a bite. It's hard to get the ice cream up with it. It's not right. I can taste the wood. It's almost like a, um, a paper straw, like you can kind of taste yeah. it. Yeah. But it's good. Oh, let me say, drama meme, however you say it, it works. Because I was literally feeling like seasick. You look a lot better. I feel so much better. It literally, if you're worried about getting seasick or if you do get seasick, get drama meme. It works. This ship is moving. I use the ginger kind and Brian uses the... I use the real Dramamine. Carrie uses the Dramamine brand ginger tablets. Yes. Anyway, we're going to do our dinner time question here. Um, we didn't have time to do it in the room. Um, and this is a great question today because this question matches with the theme of our inside out ice cream. So Leah M asked this question. What is a core cruise memory? that made you fully realize your love of cruising. So it's like core memory, like Inside Out. Oh, I get it. Wait, have you seen Inside Out? No. Okay, Carrie hasn't seen Inside Out. <laughs> oh my God. But I've seen Inside the Inside Out ice cream oh shop. Oh my God. <laughs> and you were gonna pretend that you saw it. Well. Okay, well anyway, in the movie, like when there's like a core memory that happens, like a little orb drops down and it's like one of the, the memories that like defines you as a person. Mm. So she says when she was 11 or 12, she remembers being in such complete awe of the ship design. I fell in love with the cruise aesthetic, me too, uh, grand atriums, bright and shiny auditoriums, pool decks lined with lounge chairs, and cups with little umbrellas, the aesthetic. I get that. Wow. Um, and from that point on, cruising became her favorite way to travel. So that's her core memory. Here's my core memory. Wow, you already have yours. Oh, I guess I already have it. <laughs> we were gonna think about it for a while. Yeah, that's what I was told. <laughs> Here's my core memory. I just remember like being a kid and my family would get so excited for the cruise. Like my whole family would get hyped for it and they were just so excited to cruise. Like they, did, they loved it so much. So growing up with, you know, my mom and dad loving cruising so much, it really, I think that's what like made it special. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. When your parents are just like so, so excited, like they're they're as excited as like the kids are, and I think it like made me realize like how fun cruising is. You know, like when you're around that that energy and you go on a cruise and like everyone's happy and it's all fun and how could you not like cruising? You know? Yeah. So that's my core memory. Wow. So you've thought about it, so what do you think? I think that I have two, and they're a little bit vague. One of them's a little sappy, and it has to do with my brother, and he watches these vlogs, so he's just gonna <laughs> love this. But cruising to me always meant like bunking up with my brother. Like my parents always got a balcony stateroom, and my brother and I got an inside stateroom across the hall from them. And so like, it was like a little sleepover with my brother in this little cabin and like we would go off and I feel like we would go and play cards together or something. So it just meant like having fun with my bro and so... That's a good one. Yeah, I feel like that was a lot of fun. My second memory is, and this is like a moment that happened. We have um, this newspaper in the town where I'm from called the Middletown Transcript. And it used to be this thing where you would take the newspaper with you and take a picture where you are and be like, look, the, the Middletown transcript yeah. travels around. And I remember taking the transcript with us and taking a picture on the cruise. And I was so excited to be like, look, this is where I am. And I put on like this really cute outfit or outfit that I thought was really cute at the time. And I had got it just for the cruise. And like, it was a core memory because it was like, look, I'm traveling. and. I get to wear fun clothes because I'm on a cruise and like that's what I remember. That's a good one. So they're playing uh, Beauty and the Beast on the Funnel Vision. Doesn't that look just like me? Yeah. Did we mention that you played Belle in a production? I, I think we've mentioned that a lot. <laughs> New and By the way, the, the screen quality is very good. 
you cannot see the pixels. It's a very good screen, screen, screen quality. Isn't that important to you? The pixels? Okay, let's go. So a lot of the stores are very like high-end type stores. Yeah. I like some of the Cinderella stuff. Wait, let's pop in here really quick. What's the shook? Whoa, look at this model. It's $500. I think we need that. It's really nice. I like it. And here's construction photos of the ship too. Oh, look, this is the statue yeah. that's in the lobby. That's kind of cooler. I actually like that. Actually. <laughs> Oh, look at the snow globe. You never see snow globes anymore. No, you really don't. I like it because this is an inaugural wish. I kind of want the inaugural wish. The snow globe? Is that is that a Christmas thing or is that year-round? I would say Christmas. But yeah, I just think it's inter interesting that a lot of the stores are like higher-end things. Yeah. I don't know. We always run into that. Yeah. The real reason we came down here is to check out the Hyperspace Lounge. This is the Star Wars bar. Which that, that sign outside said, please only stay here for 45 minutes at a time. Wow, really? Yeah. This is the coolest sign I've ever seen. And look how cool this door is. Hit the button. You want me to hit, hit it? I thought button. you wanted to hit it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, it's very busy in here right it's now. It's packed. I'm not sure yeah. we'll be able to stay. I think we should come back later. But we're in space now, I guess. There's a window into space. Okay, so that was a little too busy for us, but... It's funny how, like, every other bar <laughs> is, like, completely dead. Yeah. Like, that is... Like, Tiana's was empty. This place is, like, empty, but the other bar is packed. I don't even think there's any seats open for us anymore. Anyway. No. Whoa. Wow. Is this the midnight thing? I don't know. Nope. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. Oh, see, the, it's midnight. It's midnight. It's not. Oh my god. It's actually, it's actually 10.01. It, ha it started at exactly 10 o'clock. At exactly 10 o'clock. I appreciate that, because then I don't have to wake up or be up till midnight. Yeah. At exactly 10 o'clock, all these lights started like turning on and like this music started. I loved that. That's cool. Yeah, we were just in the lobby and like we just happened to like stumble upon this. That's crazy. We're going to try out this game. So this is Uncharted Adventure. Uncharted Adventures, I should say. And it's in the, the Disney Cruise Line app. You don't need a separate app. You don't need to play Disney app. Love that. Love it too. So w what is the game telling us to do? So we opened up the game and we're doing our first quest. So what's really cool is I got to like um, pick which character as like which character's game I wanted to do, and then I led the adventure, and then Brian could join the adventure by yeah. scanning a QR code so on like my phone. So we're playing together. So we're playing together. So this is essentially like midship detective agency, except for instead of having like the paper detective card, like we're using our phone, I think. Yeah. It told us to go to deck two and look for something. What does it say exactly? It says port side. I don't. I don't go to know. deck two forward elevator port side. I think it's this. So let's see what this does. Oh, and you can make your own Disney character. They call it a Disney me. I made mine a Navi. And I made mine look like me. <laughs> Align your spyglass with the wishing star. Wow. Whoa. So what's happening on that screen is happening on our phones too right now. Oh, I chose oh. Tiana. <gasps> me too. The fire the best There's a deadly alligator talking to us now. We're jamming out with Lewis now. This is so fun. It's like that game Bop It. Is that what it's called? Bop It, Twist It, Pull It. Yeah. That's oh, it's what... getting faster. Yeah. Okay, so we got a group score of 4,000. Oh. That sounds good. That sounds pretty good. Oh, we leveled up. Did we? I got to level two. <gasps> wow. Oh, we got a reward. We got Lewis's trumpet. So they'll deliver that. Uh, they'll deliver that to our stateroom. <laughs> but you can you can make your little um, Disney me hold the trumpet. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna just gonna play this throughout the cruise. Like I think you can pretty much pick this up whenever you want. I think so. Here's the Disney me thing. So I'm gonna put on my new accessory that I got, which is the trumpet. So here's my little Disney me. I made him look like a Navi character. And there's the trumpet that we just won. So now we can make our avatar have a trumpet. <gasps> Wait, baby, it says these lights have special control systems that I'll need you to operate. So it does change the lights. Okay, we have to go do we that. We have to go do that. Let's go do that. <laughs> We're making our way to the, the viewpoint it's telling us to go to. But I just saw something that I'm very happy with. They have a late night pizza open. This is something that we really wanted to see on the dream. 
And this was a huge downfall to the dream that that's what we were saying because there's no late night food. This is open and it's it's 10:13 right now. I think I saw on the app that it's open till midnight. Really? Yeah. Okay, we think we arrived where we're supposed to be. This is the viewpoint for the Aqua Mouse. I think this is right. Obviously, we can see the Aqua Mouse all around us. Stand on the deck and focus on the Aqua Mouse. Okay. So I think it's basically like focus on the lift hill. I think the lights did change, maybe. Wow, wait, what? So we have to tap this. I don't know what this is doing. I don't either. I, I think it's, is it changing that? Or oh my God, wait, we're collecting the rings. Wait, is it a coincidence? No, I'm tapping it and the rings are going. It's either, either we're changing it or it's a coincidence in the lights. No are way. All done, just gotta tell Captain Minnie we're ready. I Babe, mean, we did this. Okay, so now it's telling us to go somewhere else. I think we did that. I think we changed the lights. I think we did. Because look, now there's just solid blue again. This Maybe. is how it started. Maybe further on in the game, we can like make it whatever color we wanted. I do think that you get to do like cooler things as the game goes on. That's really neat though that like the lights on the Aqua Mouse change, change because of the game. That's I awesome. I thought that like we were going to blow everyone's minds, but like it didn't happen. Oh wait, that's, that's our... That's our plan. I thought it was a. So this, <laughs> this isn't this isn't a fish extender. This is, this is something we ordered. We'll, I literally we'll thought this was a fish extender. I was like, oh my god, we got a horrible gift because this is gigantic. <laughs> this is something that I ordered. We ordered this ordered online. We'll, we'll show you what it is. Okay. Anyway, let's go in. I, I don't know if we're gonna have a gust because it's night one, so I don't really know. Okay. Will we be able to figure out the lights? That's the question. Never. <gasps> he turned the candle on. Okay, we figured out the lights, cool. We did it. Okay, so you were saying the candle is on. Yeah, it was easier to see when it was dark, but it's on. That's cool. Oh my God. Oh my God, we did. Okay, I'm actually really surprised. Wait, there's a good night and good morning mat on the ground. What is that for? Like you step on, good night, and you wake up, good morning. <laughs> good night. It's hard to read, but it does say good night and, and good I'm morning. And I'm not entirely sure the purpose of it. Is it to keep your feet clean maybe? Clean of what? I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we Look got, at him. This is obviously uh, an anteater, I think. Hmm. All right. Or an armadillo. What do we have? I think it's an armadillo. Enchanted Memories. It has the concierge thing on it, and it's hand sanitizer gel. Oh, that's nice. And what's the, that thing? This is in that packaging that I don't like. Oh. It, it's like, what is that called? A phobia? No, but what, what's the material called? Oh. Where it makes that scratchy sound. Yes, synthetic. Anyway, and we also got our, our Sweet Dreams chocolate sponsored We're by Dove. The dreams. <laughs> <sighs> People don't like nails on a chalkboard. I don't like nails on whatever the heck this is. But Wish Upon the Seas mask spray. Spray one to three times on the outside of mask while mask is not on face. People don't wear masks anymore so what do i do with it do you think it's a mask or like a mask as in like a face moisturizer mask or something or that is, is that a face it says mask? while mask is not on face so that you put it on your cloth face mask and then on the table and then you put it on i don't know that's weird Here, here's the here's the thing that carrie doesn't like this type of thing it's like it was on agenda books when I was a kid. Yeah. And people would scratch their agenda books and it drove <laughs> me absolutely bonkers. Because it, it's like a 3D effect, that kind of thing? It like makes my tongue curl. I, like it's, <laughs> it's involuntary, but I just go like, I don't know. What the heck is this? I don't know. I, I thought it was going to be a pillow spray. Mask spray. Are we stupid? Are we not like rich enough to know what that is? I don't know. Okay, so what, what's our answer around this guy? The armadillo? I, I'm cool with either armadillo or anteater. Yeah, I like them. These are like a very like this. Oh my god! Looks like the head of a mouse, but when you put it on this big of a body, it's like that's a, can't be a mouse anymore. Yeah. Oh, well, they seem like they must be good sailors because they know how to tie a knot. Okay, so we're gonna let, now let's see what's in this super secret surprise bag that I totally know what it is, and I think Carrie knows what it is too, but. I can't open the super secret surprise bag. I need you to do it. By the way, first impressions of this ship, I really like this ship. 
I really love this ship. I think it's it's really nice and good, and I like it a lot. It's something special. It's very different than the other Disney ships. It is. Like there's the so Disney much going are, on. All the other four Disney ships are very similar. Yeah. Like, the layout of this is totally different. It's kind of like a maze, but it, like not in a bad way. I think though. it's in a good way. It's like yeah. it's like everywhere you turn, there's new magic to discover. So this is something I ordered online, like when you're like booking your cruise and you could like make reservations and you could book excursions. They had this thing that you could buy and I thought it looked cool, so I bought it. It comes with a pillow. Wow. Oh, Mickey and Minnie. Captain Mickey and Minnie. There's two captains. Um, because so they probably for, fight a lot. For sexism reasons, they can't just have Captain Minnie. <laughs> or Mickey, you mean? or? No, I mean... Minnie can't be captain on her own without oh. a male supervisor. So yeah, she needs Captain Mickey to actually do the yeah, job. Exactly. Mm. Okay, so you know how we love blankets. Yeah. I don't know if everyone's caught this on to thick, that. This is a thick yeah, blanket. It looks like a good blanket. It's not that long. But it's very thick. And it looks good. Look at everybody. Everyone's there. I thought this looked so cool because it says the wish, like using this at home and... Yeah, that's a must have. I like it. Look how thick this is. Or feel how thick wow. this is. Wow. It's like that Sherpa material. Yeah, this is really nice. That's good stuff. I like that. Well, let's put it on the bed. Make sure fuzzy side is on my body. She would paint. I feel like this box in our bedroom is like from Tangled. Like there's lots of paint on it like Rapunzel would have painted it. Yeah. I'm not sure though. I don't know. So we'll put our little Gus here watching us as we sleep. But by the way, um, I was laying on this bed earlier. This is the nicest bed I feel like I've ever laid on, like ever. It's a very nice bed. And even the pillows are like, wowza. The, and I think this bed is bigger than a normal cruise bed. Because a normal huge. cruise bed is two twins pushed together. And I think on Disney, it's like an actual king size bed. Yeah, it is the nicest bed ever. Um, if you love soft beds, you will love this bed. It. It's it's amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. No. Also, I got this good night, good morning mat too. I kind of want to put our slippers and our robes out <sighs> and like really get into it. Yeah. So before we go to bed, um, we're gonna fill out this door hanger thing. We're gonna put our breakfast order on here, and um, it says if you place this on your door before 3 a.m., you can select a time. They'll deliver whatever food you you mark here. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that these selections are exclusive to people in a one bedroom suite or higher. Um, and the breakfast sandwich, or the, the breakfast sandwich and the biscuit sandwich sound really good. Um, so we get like extra like hot items. They sound really good. So what do you think you're gonna get? Mickey waffle. I think that's a good choice. I almost wanted to get that. I'm gonna get the biscuit sandwich, but this is really cool. Um, we love these door hanger breakfast things. So we're gonna fill this out and put it on our door get breakfast delivered tomorrow morning. Yeah. You look tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm like a weatherman now, I guess. And uh, here's where we are. This is the Disney wish. Um, we're going to Castaway Key, but that's the day after tomorrow, because tomorrow is just a day at sea. So I guess we're going to make our way there very slowly, I guess. But yeah, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. See you there. Coming up in our next video. We have a day at sea on board the Disney Wish. We try Palo Brunch, see the Pirate Night fireworks, and discover more magic.